have the one Hey Dana, how you doing? How you doing, man? Good. All right. Enjoying the show? Oh yeah. All right. Awesome. It's, it's difficult not being a spectator because last year I didn't walk around and do whatever. And today I'm like, I gotta stay here. But at some point, like I went over and saw Scott's stuff already. Yeah. Uh, and this guy over here, but I haven't really been to the outside of the room. So. All right. All right. Nice seeing you. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, Joe, how you doing? Good, how you doing? Good. And we love your pumpkin tosh. Thank you. Awesome. Go to Dave's Vintage Apple Tech, or <laughs> Joe will be mad at you. <laughs> All right, thank you, man. All right, and then we have Eric from Eric's Edge. I've sold out of half of my stuff. That's awesome. Good for you. And the, and the, and the weekend's still young. Yes. There you go. <laughs> you have to read the bigger things so I can show off the adventure. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Ron. How you doing today? Hey, how are you doing, sir? Good. And I see you got all kinds of cool stuff here today. I, I, uh, I brought a little bit of everything this year in hopes that... Um, I can show up some of the neat new projects I'm working on. Awesome. Did you wanna did you wanna go over one? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what actually um, this is kind of the big thing this year, which is I've always had this uh, breakout board that kind of shows the ecosystem of uh, little add-on cards that I've created to try to make it to where you can take a SE for streamers, educators, museums, people that want to um, basically eliminate the analog board, eliminate the CRT and show those machines on a big monitor. Well, working with Jason Merrill, Gut Bomb, we now have this new design where it is a 3D printable case that will be released for free to the community that basically kind of mimics the Snow White design language of like the, um, uh, the like 2GS and um, the 2SI and a lot of those other machines. Yeah. But um, basically allows you to use your board there's a uh, breakout adapter. Let's use a Pico, a Pico ATX power supply. It comes over to your board. Uh, there's uh, a TTL adapter, so that way you got video output and all that type of stuff. Plugs into your RGB to HDMI outputs. You can still use your original floppy drive, still use an original hard drive if you like, or a modern um, replacement, a SCSI emulator, something like the Blue SCSI. That's it. Awesome. It's just kind of a, a neat way to put it all in one package. That is really cool. Yeah. And uh, where can people uh, get that? <laughs> well, um, this will be available on just Merrill's printable page, probably here in the next week or so. Um, but the interconnect boards and things like that are available at jcm-1.com. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Thank you, Ron. Yeah. And, uh, I, I hope you have a great show. It was nice to see you. Oh, thank you. Yes, yeah, this is my first VCF. It's quite overwhelming. It yeah. is. It's a lot. <laughs> I'm not spending my money. You need to spend it. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. You know what? I got to do our draw today, too. Oh, yeah. There were so few people that entered in at the start. <laughs> and we have Dan. How's it going, Dan? Oh, not too bad. We just got a second chair. We finally sit down. <laughs> and I saw a kid bought a SGI 02 Mini for $100, so now I'm eager to go around and see what people have. <laughs> I should have done it yesterday. Oh, I know. There's all kinds of crazy deals around here today. And we have Will from KMAC Vintage. And Joaquin, all the way from Sweden. How are you doing? And Joaquin. You guys enjoying the show? I'm sitting awesome. here at the table, yes. <laughs> well, hopefully you get to, uh, get out and take a break and, and see the stuff. So, cool. All right. 
Good question. I, the eBay. Really? I think it that's looks pretty good. Like the quality actually looks pretty good. It's an actual Apple hat. Because it looks too nice to be yeah. kind of like a knockoff one. Yeah. Oh, it's really cool. No, yeah. we, so, um, like what, uh, she's just she's known as uh, being interested in like the like, kind of like the oh like like the kitsch stuff or like the like the bags and the other paraphernalia from internal stuff. So we get like, every now and then we'll get an email like, hey, uh, uh, okay, sure. and it's Mackie and the Macintosh librarian. How are you guys doing today? Mackie's doing great. All right. He's cool. He's real. And is he liking uh, the new VCF West location? At West location? Yes. This hotel is so nice, and the the floor is so clean and massive. So we're loving it so far. All right, very cool. All right. Well, I'm glad he could make it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Sean. How you doing? Good. Good. Enjoying the show? All right. Awesome. My first one. Sensory overload for sure. Yeah. Do you drive out or fly? Oh, flu. So yeah, absolutely. I'm getting like dork overload here. So the Veronica's video, Joyful Chaos. Yeah. Have, I, have you heard this story about about like I sh I'm a high school teacher and I just showed that video to 150 high school students. Oh, uh, was here yesterday. You were saying yeah. That. yeah. And yeah. then I walk in and I look over. I'm parking across the like the line into the door. Did you do a traffic dog? And this one here is uh, what's what's on this one here? This I think is the chassis. This is a newer chassis, but this is the exact same machine that blue one is right there. Oh, okay. And these are the later models. Like one of them was the domestic version, and then the other one was called Weatherstock. This was a dedicated channel that was run by a team that was just 24/7 weather on the road. Instead of having like OCMs and very big helmets and stuff like that. Yeah. So they had two separate platforms. Wow. And then the domestic unit, which is got the lower display line, was what was shown on it. Okay. That's just the newer generation. They just they just retired. They retired domestic, I think, in 2018. And then they retired weather in 2020. 
so it's, it's all the whole entire thing. Oh, okay. And what, what they use today is just a red ball piece of just a four I said today. Oh really? Yeah. Interesting. So it's a specialized proprietary hardware. So our history here is now gone. So this the successor to this machine here is this one. This oh. is known as the Weatherstar XL. Oh wow. Which is it's just basically an SGI machine inside. It's an off-the-shelf SGI O2 that they shoved inside of a rat case. Really? So it's running the IRX, it's running, you know, I think this is actually running the version of the scan right now, but it's the predecessor to that one right there. They also yeah, have the yeah. domestic version of this one too. The weather scan local at this ran was short-lived. They quickly replaced it with that machine. Wow. Because they didn't keep these around long. They wanted them gone because I guess the contract with SGI was good. So, it's not wow. Wow. Hey, well, thanks. That, that is so neat that, uh, wow. that you get, keep this stuff going. That's what we're doing. Yeah, that's so awesome. Thank you.
fun. I really enjoyed attending VCF Midwest 2024. You know, it's really nice to meet all these people that you've been talking to online, on my live streams. It's fantastic to see them in person, to interact with them. Everybody was so kind and generous, and it just makes you really appreciate it. And I appreciate each and every one of my friends. I can hardly wait to go till next year. I'll actually probably stay an additional day because uh, the, the two days just isn't enough. So I plan on attending next year. And on that note, I'm going to let the stop bits play this video out. Until then, you guys have a great rest of your time, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.